What's going on YouTube? My name is Andrew, better known as Bergs. Welcome to the Bergs Dip Reviews channel. Today we have something a little special for you guys. We have Amish honey chewing tobacco. Um, it's uh, made by Domestic Tobacco Company in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 100% domestic tobacco, which is very rare for loose leaf chew. Sale only allowed in the United States, and this is a three ounce bag. So a little side note, uh, this, co this company, Domestic Tobacco, Tobacco Company, they also make an Amish Plain Chew, which I have had. Um, there's one video on it on YouTube, I believe it's by Pennsylvania Chew is the username, but if you search for it, it's the only one you're going to find. And they also make one called Good Bite Chewing Tobacco, I have not had it. Um, a guy by the name of some Harley guy did, the re did a review on that. Um, both those channels, that's the only... Uh, only a tobacco review on each of them so anyway there are no reviews on the honey and I'll, gi I'll give you guys a closer look at the presentation So you can see it says wonderfully good honey wonderfully good honey cured on the top. Uh, there's a barcode to the left. On the right we have TP0004179. I don't know if that's some kind of date code or just something else for the company. Um, you have the giant warning label and then on the back you can see it's just it's clear. You can see the tobacco and another warning label on the bottom. And it's a Ziploc, but it doesn't seal. I've already had a, a uh, I mean, it seals shut, but it wasn't sealed when I bought it. Um, it, uh, it just opens up like this. You know, there's nothing to tear off or anything. So I don't, I'm not, I don't mind Ziploc, but I like uh, when it's something like Redman or Stoker's where you, you tear it open and then there's a Ziploc better than just this. Um, so yeah, pretty... Pretty plain packaging, but a nice picture on the front. So anyway, um, open it up and smell it. You smell basically tobacco, like natural tobacco. There's a little hint of sweetness because this does have some sweetness in it. Um, not much though, because I have had one chew out of it. So you get a you get a nice full bag um, with the, with the plain. I know it weighs 1.75 ounces, yet it's the same size bag. Um, so there must be a little bit of sweetness that helps weigh it down in here. So anyway, let's grab a pinch and take a look. So here it is. It's, it's literally leaves cut up. Like there's not much else. There's a little bit of like a tiny bit of stickiness to it, but nothing really. Um, and, and very dry, which is unique for a chew. It's just dried up leaves basically. And, uh, and I, I believe that's... This, that's just how it's supposed to be from when I had the plane. So um, we're going to grab a pinch. Join me if you'd like of some Amish chew. So while that juices up a little bit, we'll talk a little bit about the Amish um, and, and what I know about this particular product. Um, so the Amish are, are big in, in a certain region of Pennsylvania, being Lancaster County area. Um, they, they live a simple life, no electricity. We're talking about old order Amish. There's different, uh, different sects, of course that believe different things but when you're looking at old order Amish it's no electricity no technology kind of lifestyle don't drive cars they drive horse and buggies and I, I guarantee if you hit the back roads in this part of the state you're gonna see them and they'll be riding along the side of the road in their horse and buggy when they they uh, most of them take up a farming lifestyle um, and of course no electricity they, they uh, use animals to plow the fields 
and for those of them that aren't farmers often are either involved in making quilts or making furniture and, and the region has been quite a tourist attraction you know, people like to see this kind of way of life this isn't uh, in my part of the state particularly but it's about two hours away where this is made and uh, you know, very unique to have a tobacco company in Pennsylvania. Of course, if you know, uh, Copenhagen started in Pittsburgh, but this is on the other end of the state. And um, a lot of tobacco growing does go on in this area because it's a it's a money maker. And um, a lot of it that doesn't go to products like this ends up in in chews and dips and some in cigarettes but historically it's uh put into chews and dips so um as i chew on this what do i get a very bitter taste with a little hint of sweetness nothing not even close to any like any mainstream chew um, the bitterness is mostly what you taste and that's all you taste in the plain um, I'm, I'm figuring that this is just leaves and and some kind of honey flavor or honey itself sweetening it because you do taste it just a little bit um, okay it's not necessarily my favorite but it's very unique uh you're not going to get this with any other product i mean red man silver blend might be the only thing that comes to mind as a sugar-free kind of chew not that this is sugar-free but when i think about the plain and i think about the kind of taste but even so very different very unique cut too as you saw now uh, the price on it is about 479 so that compares to your Redman and Levi at least here it does juice up nicely after you start chewing it but like I said at first it's very dry um, and that just appears to be the way it is So anyway, some shout-outs today. We have Full Review, The Georgia Dippers, and Sam D. Video. If you would like a shout-out, please let me know. Of course, I only have 25 subs, so I don't know how, uh, how much giving me a shout-out is going to do you right now. But if you'd like one, sure, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll give you a shout-out. So the rating on Amish Honey Chew. Okay, I mean, it's not really... Um, it's just not for my taste I guess it, it's not like it's a low quality thing it's, it seems to be great it seems to have a following especially in this area and then they uh, went and put it out around the state so I think a lot of people might try it as like a just to see what it's like but I don't know how many regular chewers there are of this outside of this area so that being said I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 because it just doesn't do it for me i'm used to chewing sweet chews all the time you know and and this is just so different i probably won't buy it again but i will review the other two products that they make and i believe they also make cigars too this company but i don't have a lot of info on the company they don't have a website or anything like that but if you're ever up here and you want to give it a shot I'd say go ahead and give it a shot because I mean it does have some things going for it I mean obviously the the historical aspect and just because it's unique and Amish I mean and 100% American that never happens with loose leaf chew and I really don't know the availability of it I'm gonna assume it's just up here you know I know I'll have a lot of southern viewers but probably not going to be able to get it so hey give it a shot if you're up here try everything out once right 
It's the only way you know if you're going to like it or not for sure. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave a comment. Uh, follow me, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Take care.